Where do the divine beings exist? Why can't I see them? Why is God hidden? Let's think about it. Hey, my name's Justin Harrell. I challenge you to challenge yourself to think about less taught biblical topics. Over the course of the past several videos, we've looked into the Divine Council worldview. If you're just getting started, go back and watch the full Supernatural Zone playlist. Link in the description. We saw that the divine beings were present when God created the universe. They were included in the discussion to make man able to image God. One being in particular tempted Eve to sin. We see that man and woman walked and talked with God in the garden, the holy mountain of God. Well, if all this is true, what happened? How is it that we can no longer see God? And why do we no longer see divine beings? Sin. Sin separates us from God. We've heard this many times. But like many people, we tend to just see this as some sort of spiritual separation only. But sin literally separates us in time and space. Ever since that first sin, the fabric of reality has been torn. We once enjoyed fellowship with God and the other Elohim. That was lost when we fell. First, we hid. Genesis 3 verse 8. And when they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Then God hides. Genesis 3:22 to 24. Then the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become like one of us, to know good and evil. Now, lest he put out his hand and take also the tree of life and eat and live forever, therefore the Lord God sent him out of the garden of Eden to till the ground from which he was taken. So he drove out the man, and he placed cherubim at the east of the garden of Eden, and a flaming sword, which turned every way to guard the way to the tree of life. The humans are cast out of God's presence cast out of his garden and holy mountain. I do believe that the realms of heaven and earth were once joined together. But after the fall, a tear in space happens, trapping us outside his holy dwelling. God places guards to keep us out. And a flaming sword. He had to suspect I might do that. But where is the supernatural zone now? Well, it's outside our available dimensions. The best way to understand this is to use an analogy using two dimensions. Flatman will give us a hand here. Mr. and Mrs. Flat were happy, enjoying the garden mountain of God. But once they sinned, the heavenly realm was locked away in an extra dimension. Even though heaven is right next to them, they cannot see it because they only comprehend two dimensions. Heaven has moved perpendicular to their world. One day, Mr. and Mrs. Flat will get new glorified bodies. This will grant them a third dimension, the ability to once again enjoy God's presence. So why is God hidden? Well, for one, he's holy and separate from sin, but also he does so to protect us. We cannot handle his full glory. It would kill us. So God must veil himself. We get a cool visual example of this in Exodus chapter 19, verse 16 to 20. Then it came to pass on the third day, in the morning, that there were thunderings and lightnings, and a thick cloud on the mountain. And the sound of the trumpet was very loud, so that all the people who were in the camp trembled. And Moses brought the people out of the camp to meet with God, and they stood at the foot of the mountain. Now Mount Sinai was completely in smoke, because the Lord descended upon it in fire. Its smoke ascended like the smoke of a furnace, and the whole mountain quaked greatly. And when the blast of the trumpet sounded long, it became louder and louder. Moses spoke, I am here, Lord. And God answered him by voice, Oh, then the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai, on the top of the mountain. And the Lord called Moses to the top of the mountain. Come up here. And Moses went up. 
That thick cloud hid God's glory to protect the people and Moses. Moses asked to see God's glory, but he was only granted permission to see his back. In the course of human history, God shows up from time to time with Moses, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joshua, Gideon, and others. But these are rare events spread over millennia. Many times when God shows up, he looks just like a man. Then one day he becomes a man named Yeshua, a lowly Jewish carpenter, a humble servant, so unrecognizable that people argued against his claim to be their creator. He talked about the kingdom from heaven. He warned us of a day coming when the heavenly realm would once again be opened. Revelation 6, 14-16 Then the sky receded as a scroll when it is rolled up, and every mountain and island was moved out of its place. And the kings of the earth, the great men, the rich men, the commanders, the mighty men, every slave and every free man, hid themselves in the caves and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath has come, and who is able to stand? Man will once again try to hide from God, only this time it's too late. Judgment is coming. Fierce wrath against the ungodly. Jude 15 to execute judgment on all, to convict all who are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have committed in an ungodly way, and of all the harsh things which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. That's something you better think about.